25th October 2016. Okay. Today there's a case of this Tahe who is a hamster about male one year old, one year old. Now this hamster is a sapphire dwarf hamster. As you can see, he's a very big size, uh, overweight. And, and according to the owner, he eats a lot. Everything he will eat, he will finish eating. So that's how he put on weight. Now, you can see that this could be a possible diabetes case. So I asked the owner to check the urine, do a dipstick check, collect urine and do a dipstick check. Because it's abnormal for a hamster to eat a lot. But there are cases where they do eat a lot. They don't waste food. Now his sibling, uh, it's very juicy, eat half the seeds and then throw, throw away. So the sibling has not put on weight. Now you can see there's a wart. There's a wart there, but uh, it's not easy to see. I just point, point here without uh, getting it up. You can see, uh, you can see the wart, you can zoom in. So this wart, the owner did an internet search and uh, came to top of your vets. Do you see the wart beautifully now? Able to zoom in? Huh? Okay, so this wart actually has to be removed, otherwise it grows bigger and the hamster licks it. Uh, so I try not to cut off the digit if possible. Now the best way to do it is to do electro surgery. Now obviously you cannot just grip, grab the hamster and then just cut it off. That would be uh, quite painful. And uh, so, so this, this thing will be done under isoprene gas anesthesia. And so before doing any surgery, we have a history ticking. This work was, was around for for quite quite some time, I think it's so we write down the history. And uh, so the best is to do an illustration, a drawing of the location of what and the size, uh, three millimeter by three millimeter approximately. Then uh, this one will be computerized, this is just a handwritten one. And uh, so, the thing this is overweight, so we, we don't know whether it has diabetes not because it's polyphagia, which is very hungry, eating a lot, whether it drinks a lot, the owner doesn't know. So poly, polydipsia, polyuria, we don't know. So we can't confirm if it's a possible diabetes, but uh, the, the thing is, this is a history, so we can see that uh, this hamster definitely has a big risk, big risk of a uh, big risk of anesthetic because of the weight, overweight. So now I will just show the procedure. So after physical examination, history and physical examination, then we will do we will do the the suggestion is surgery. So do anesthetic form, consent form, huh? anesthetic consent form where the owner signed, okay, this is the anesthetic consent form. Then the, the vet or the assistant must prepare part of the procedure, prepare the anesthesia and surgical surgery record form. Otherwise, in case of litigation and uh, they find that there was a slip shot work, there was no, no nothing done on the recording anesthetic, then it will be very hard to defend yourself. Okay, so this is basically the thing. And then now we go to here, this side. Now, we prepare the anesthetic machine. Now, in this case, it's an oxygen generator. So we need to switch on about five minutes before to let the, the generator work, oxygen generator work. And then what I do is normally I use 5%, 5% and flow at normally a bit higher, or four, three to four. And, and this will go into here here and then the hamster will be inside here, inside here and uh, then he will breathe in the isoprene plus oxygen gas. Once it's down, you can see because it's not moving and he'll be very observant otherwise he will die because the dose is a fatal overdose so he will be inside here. So we prepare all the, all the surgical thing first. The electros, electrosurgical machine is switched on to cutting, not, not coagulation. You switch to cut, cut, not cut, and uh, depends on the power. It could be, of course, up to ten. But I think in this case, 
probably we, we try to, to make it fast so that we don't waste time. And, and it's a very simple cut now. The best is, of course, the best is uh, the assistant knows what to do because in this case, by right, there should be a look, is it? So my assistant didn't, didn't prepare for me to look. There, there, there should be a look, a lawyer look, uh, which is the, the know, know what to do with your electro surgery machine because if you don't know, then you keep on using this. This is not the right one. Now there's a wire loop which you can see. This is the one. So this one goes in and then you just and circle it on this one. It goes in to the what and then you just and cut off. This one will be quite troublesome. You've got to figure out. You've got to figure out where, where, where is the the, the whole, whole what. You, you might slice in, in this one you might slice three quarter or, or ninety nine percent but this one you go under the wart, or this one is okay, you go under the wart, you take this, uh, the faucet, this faucet, you take this faucet to lift it up, you lift up the wart, and then you use this, and then it goes behind, below, and then you just, you just cut it off. So, so that, that this is not appropriate one. So, okay, so that is the instrument part. Instrument part, all prepared first, check the vet, response to the check. Then this is the return for the electricity. So the hamster will be on top and then electricity will go through the wart and then the body of the hamster and then it goes back to the, the current goes back. So this is important. Then uh, normally I would like to put a piece of power here so that uh, the hand doesn't get contact with the elect electricity. Otherwise the, the, the vet might get shock because the electricity is supposed to flow from from this to the hamster and to back, return back. But sometimes, if the back contacts the table, there might be electricity shock. So that is basically overall. Then, because the hamster has some hair, hair uh, skin problem on the neck, so we we were at the same much clipboard. And the reason the hamster had this problem is because he keep on putting his neck, he put his neck onto the, the bowl. Because he's so fat, so he put his neck on the bowl, and he uh, and, and he he has this. You can see. I just show you. There's this hair loss. There a bit of hair loss. So we just shave a bit here. There, just under the neck. A very fast shaving. In fact, this is quite a nice hamster. So as you can see from here. Now I will say the. He doesn't like it really, so I just put it back again. Okay, so we will proceed ready for the finish.